Just around the corner, Hamza Chimaev, Boers, the Wolf, taking on the fan favorite, Nate Diaz, okay? This is an incredible fight, and a lot of people have come out of the woodwork and had a lot of things to say about this fight, saying that, you know, they're throwing Diaz to the Wolves. You know, they're, they're selling you all Wolf tickets, people. You're eating them right up. Literally, I guess, Boers is known as the Wolf. But, you know, they're, they're hanging him out to dry. They're, they're getting his ass kicked as he leaves. Dan Hardy was even saying that there could be some kind of criminal charges against the UFC because Diaz is going to get beaten up so badly of Hamzat Chimaev. You have to get ready for Nate Diaz and then the UFC just say, hey, Hamzat, we love you. Come fucking beat up this old man. When's the last time you won a fight? But either way, so I don't even think Hamzat really has to get ready for it. He's probably just going to roll in, not even training, coming off the couch and just go and, you know, destroy him. Now, first of all, I understand why Sean would say that because he's been training with Hamzat Chimaev and he's seen how confident and capable that Hamza is. I know people that train with Hamza. They've been out there to the All-Stars gym in Sweden. I'm talking about a company I'm involved with called Block Asset. And they tell me the way Hamza trains is just unbelievable. He pushes himself to the limit all the time. So there's no way he's going to roll off the couch. But there is a good chance that he is going to roll through Nate Diaz. Now, Sean Strickland, as I say, he's been training with him in Extreme Couture. And he said, Chimaev is like a fucking dog with a bone. He was sparring one of my buddies, a 55er who moved up to 170, a lower level pro. And I was telling Chimaev, I understand that you like to fucking smash, brother, brother, you like to smash. But if you want to spar him, you've got to be respectful because he's here to help you. He's not at your level. And Chimaev was all about it. He understood and they had a good sparring session. So that's nice to hear as well that Chimaev isn't the type of guy to be beating up sparring partners and taking liberties. Sometimes you do see that. I'm sure Shaw Strickland does that. The man's a fucking psycho. Oh, man. Now, if I kill someone in the ring, I'd fucking make me very happy. 